One, a hurricane. Two major storms are battering countries on two sides of the globe. The first, Hurricane Dean, now a Category 4 storm. Dean is the first hurricane of the Atlantic season, and it's churning through the Caribbean, quickly gaining strength. Forecasts put it on a path towards Jamaica, where the government has issued a hurricane warning. The second storm we're watching is in Asia. Typhoon Sepat has left Taiwan and is now crashing into China's mainland. The storm knocked out power to more than 70,000 homes in Taiwan and battered the island with heavy rains and high winds after it made landfall there on Saturday. The man watching both of those storms for us is our Martin Jeans. Martin. Well, I can tell you, really, so you just said that that, that storm, uh, Sepat, now crashing into the southeastern coast of China, absolutely right. It has weakened a little bit. We're now calling it a minimal typhoon here, at least the center moving away from Taiwan. Let's take you quickly back to Taiwan and show you how it looked uh, on the ground here. This was a very powerful typhoon as it hit about 24 hours ago, the eastern side of uh, Taiwan. You're looking at some pictures here all along the eastern coast here. Uh, Taidong, in fact, the images you're seeing right now, the wind speeds were close to 190 kilometers an hour, a Category 3 typhoon as it hit the eastern coast, if we're using that Atlantic hurricane's scale there. Uh, 24 reported to be injured in Taiwan. There have been reports of landslide, torrential rain, power outages, and at least half a million people had to be evacuated from the central eastern coast. So now all eyes on southeastern China, Fujian province, that's where we're going to see the storm, as you can see, pushing in over the next few hours, bringing all its wind and rain. But at least we are now seeing that, uh, that weakening trend. Let me take you now to outer space actually a shot of hurricane dean powerful hurricane dean from the international space center the center of the hurricane now 270 kilometers south of santo domingo in the dominican republic now although the center of the hurricane is still well over the open waters of the eastern caribbean as you can plainly see on our satellite here we're now pretty much obscuring uh, those outer bands you can see uh, haiti the dominican republic there's beginning certainly on the southern coast to see those winds really picking up we are expecting hurricane force winds along the southern coast coast of Hispaniola along with that heavy rain. Heavy rain, we're talking in excess potentially of 10 centimeters. Some locations could even be over 25. And then the storm pushing on on that course. It hasn't really changed at all over the past day or two towards Jamaica. Big purple area, the cone of uncertainty, but you can see it is a category four storm right now. It hasn't really changed in intensity over the past few hours. Maybe going through Jamaica, maybe a landfall on Sunday as a four. And then beyond that point, picking up its intensity to a five as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula, where we could see uh, the hurricane actually crossing over northern Yucatan. If it does, it will weaken to an extent. That will be good news. But it's bad news all along the eastern shores of Yucatan as we get into the Monday forecast period. Beyond that point, into the Gulf of Mexico, a threat, I think, at this moment for eastern Mexico or even potentially southern parts of Texas. But we are looking about six days out. I think the problem there will be around next Thursday. Relitza, I'll keep forecasting for you and plotting it. Back to you.